hi viewers today in this example we will see how to connect your devices adb over wifi without any extra application or software in non rooted devices okay let's begin so what are the problems with usb cable right you cannot move around with the devices obviously once you connect your device with usb cable you cannot move with your device cable damage there is a huge possibility of your cable might get damaged once you continuously connect your device using a usb cable usb socket of android device can be damaged right so if you connect your device regularly with your laptop for a long time period and a daily basis so there is a huge possibility of your android usb port might get damaged right mobile battery can be damaged if you continuously connect with usb cable so there is a huge possibility of your battery can be discharged battery consist of limited number of cycles right so if you continuously put your usb cable to your mobile so battery will always get being charged and the number of cycle can be reduced easily so there are there is a huge poss possibilities to possibilities your battery can be damaged you can connect only limited devices if your laptop have three usb devices or sorry if your laptop have three usb ports so you can maximum connect three android devices right or you need a extra external hub usb hub to connect more number of devices to solve all these problems better to better we can use a wifi adb over wifi right just a second okay so let's see how we can connect it okay open a command prompt okay and type adb devices okay if you see here in the attached device list there is no devices are displaying okay so first step is to connect your mobile device with the usb cable okay let me connect my device to a laptop using usb cable please watch here it will display here as my device has been connected right here it's showing connected right and charging also it's displaying that means my device has been connected using a usb cable prerequisite of this is if you want to use your mobile or in a debug mode you need to do us you need to follow some steps right for that you need to go to settings okay general okay about devices okay just a minute so this developer option will not display initially okay to enable this option you need to go about devices and you need to click 7 times to this build number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right for me developer mode is already enabled or turned down right that is a reason it is showing that particular message if your option is not enabled or displaying then you need to click 7 times on this build number to enable a developer's option okay 
once this developer option has been enabled go to developer options and click on this particular checkbox okay please click on this checkbox uh -huh. you will get at this particular message say okay uh -huh. so your mobile is ready for a debugging purposes okay so usually what will happen is whenever you connect your device with any laptop it will display one more message saying allowed okay you just say allow always or whatever the action you want you can take it okay okay <coughs> now if you go here and say adb devices okay here my device list is displaying okay my mac address is displaying that means my device has been connected using a usb cable and i can do any debug operation to this particular device okay now you need to type adb tcp ip 5555 and click enter once you click enter it will display saying restarting your device in tcp ip mode and a small beep sound will display okay let's see see beep sound has been displayed that means your device your mobile device has been restarted on tcp ip mode okay so just a minute okay so your device has been restarted on tcp ip mode so each and every device which you wanted to connect over wi-fi or i can say adb over wi-fi you need to start a mobile on tcp ip mode using port number double five double five once you have enabled or you have started your device on tcp ip mode then only you can connect your device to a laptop for debugging purposes okay let let me show you how i have connected it right so adb connect then i need a ip address of this mobile right so it is very easy go to notifications long press on wi-fi or go to wi-fi settings click on connected wi-fi and see here it is showing the ip address right so i need to give a ip address here 10.0.0.3 okay and click enter if it is showing here saying that connected to 10.0.0.3.555 that means your device has been connected over a Wi-Fi and you can do all the operations which you can doing using a USB cable you can do debugging all the operations okay okay fine so let me disconnect the USB cable please watch here okay if I disconnect it, this uh -huh. USB cable cable option gone, charging gone, right? So my now my device has been connected over Wi-Fi. Okay, to to verify that, just need to type ADB devices and click enter. See in the attached list, it is now displaying my mobile IP colon five 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 means my device has been connected over Wi-Fi in a TCP IP mode so I can do all the debugging operations on this mobile using a Wi-Fi so for if you want to connect one more device you need to do a same thing you need to connect the cable uh, connect using USB cable and start that particular mobile in tcp ip mode and then you need to connect both the devices okay okay
so how so many people asked me how to disconnect it suppose for example your uh, laptop has been connected to the device over a wi-fi right and now you want to disconnect it right so simply you need to type a d b this connect okay so once you type this and say enter your device has been automatically disconnected okay this is from the server side or i can say this is from the laptop side right and or else what you can do here is you can simply go to wi-fi and switch off your wi-fi right if you switched off your wi-fi now obviously my uh, this screen sharing will also not work so it is not displaying but now if you go here and say adb devices okay it's still displaying it maybe then you need to type only disconnect this connect right see here right now it is disconnected right so this is a way you need to disconnect the mobile if you want it okay that's really great right so now you can do and debug all the operations which you need it okay there are some extra applications as well through which you can find out whether your device has been uh, connected or not one of the app which I have already installed in my mobile is Wi-Fi ADB debugger okay if I open it here it will show me what is the IP and my TCP IP mode is enabled right so next time if I want to connect it right right now it is this in the disconnection mode right so let let me show you adb devices right right now it is not displaying anything any device right now again I don't need to follow all the steps I just need to type adb connect 10.0.0.3 and say enter see my device has been connected why because still my mobile is working on TCP IP mode right so if you restart your mobile then your connection has been gone it will automatically start on normal mode then if you want to connect again in TCP IP mode you need to follow the same steps okay I hope you are able to understand all the steps to connect a device over a Wi-Fi okay thanks for watching my video I will try to demonstrate one more video to connect more than one devices okay thanks for watching my video